In this video, we're going to take you through a beginner's guide to trading on the OKX app. We'll be walking you through everything you need to know to get started, including how to deposit or purchase your first crypto, create simple trades such as market and limit orders, earn interest, and then finally how to sell and withdraw your crypto. For more information, please check out everybithelps.io. First up, a little bit about OKX. OKX, formerly known as OKEX, is more than just a platform for buying and selling digital currencies. It's a comprehensive ecosystem that caters to a wide range of crypto-related activities. Founded in 2017, OKX has grown rapidly, establishing itself as a global leader in the cryptocurrency exchange space. With its headquarters in Malta, a hub for blockchain technology, OKX empowers users to trade and invest in a diverse range of digital assets. One of the standout features of OKX is its extensive range of trading options. From spot trading to futures, options and perpetual swaps, OKX offers a variety of ways to trade, and this flexibility makes it an attractive platform for both beginners and experienced traders. But what really sets OKX apart is its commitment to innovation and security and the platform offers state-of-the-art security measures, ensuring that users' assets are protected at all times. And this is obviously crucial in an industry where security is paramount. OKX also have their own OKX ecosystem, including a wallet, NFT marketplace, and even its own blockchain, the OKX chain. And OKX also have a user-friendly mobile app, designed with the user in mind, and the app simplifies the process of buying, selling, and trading digital assets, making it accessible to even those who are new to the world of crypto. And this is where we're going to be focusing today. But if you'd rather check out a beginner's tutorial on the desktop, I'll have a link in the summary. So let's jump in. The OKX app can be downloaded for your Android or iPhone. Once downloaded, you'll be prompted to sign up or to log in. And if you don't already have an account, I'll have a link in the summary, which may be promotional depending on the time that you're watching this video. So it is worth checking out. When you create an account with OKX, you'll be asked to provide your personal information. And you may also be asked to verify this with KYC, which is known as Know Your Customer. And this is standard for most crypto exchanges. I've already got an account, so I'm just going to go ahead and log in now. And the first place that we're going to start is the OKX tab, which I've got selected in the bottom left of the app. And your screen may appear slightly different, and that depends on whether or not you're using OKX Lite or Pro. For the purposes of this beginner's guide, I'm going to be focusing on light mode today. But I will also create a pro version if you are interested. So I'm in light mode, which you can reach by selecting the tile icon in the top left of the screen. And when I press on that, it brings up my account information. And here is where I can switch to pro, which is for advanced trading. Essentially, light is for beginners getting started and it removes any advanced features to make it easier to navigate and it's so that it doesn't confuse newbies. Whereas the pro version has the advanced features of an exchange. Just before we go back to the OKX screen, we'd recommend adding security to your account before you go ahead and start depositing any crypto or buying crypto on an exchange, which you can do from here by choosing your account name and then security. And here you've got different options to enable, such as pass keys and 2FA. You'll see here that from the top of the screen, we're on the exchange tab. And OKX do also have their own wallet, which is Web3 and can be used for trading, NFTs, DeFi and dApps. But today, we're going to be looking at the exchange. And you'll find any notifications or messages in the top right of the screen. Your balance in the centre and if, like me, you've already got an OKX account, which maybe you've used over on the desktop, this will mirror any balances and show any crypto that you're holding. It will also show how your balance has changed over the past 24 hours. And you can track your performance in chart format. Underneath, you've got icons for buy, sell, convert, deposit and withdraw. And we're going to cover all of these during this tutorial. Underneath is another way that you can switch to pro mode, which we access from the tile icon. Then you have the option to add favourite cryptos to a list. And this way you can track prices over the past 24 hours. But before we can start trading on OKX, you're going to need to have some crypto to trade with. 
we're going to look at buy first. So if you are brand new to crypto and you don't already have any crypto at all to get started with, you can buy some from within OKX. At the moment, we're on the buy tab, but you can also sell, which we're going to look at later. And it gives you some options for which currency you're buying with, which I can toggle from euro to GBP, for example. Then you can choose the crypto that you'd like to buy. For the purposes of today's tutorial, I'm going to be choosing to buy USDT. And this is a stable coin, which is a crypto that is pegged one to one with the US dollar. And therefore, it's most like buying crypto with US dollars. However, as you can see, you can also buy the likes of Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDC and their own OKB token. You then enter the amount that you'd like to buy. And there's a minimum of £13, but this will vary on the currency that you've selected. I'm going to enter in £100. And it'll then show how many USDT that I'm going to get for that amount. If I choose next, it then shows that I can pay for this all fee free with verified merchants. And this process is also called P2P or peer to peer. And I can pay for this using Revolut, where I'm going to currently get the best price, bank transfer, or I can choose Wise, which is what I'm going to choose today. And I've got Revolut and Wise tutorials available if you want to check those out. When you confirm your buy, you're going to be provided with instructions of where to send your funds to. In this example, I have payment details and I'm prompted to open up WISE, transfer using the details provided, and it is really important that you include your order ID with this. Once I've paid the seller, I then need to provide a screenshot as proof, and my USDT was then sent within a matter of minutes. And as OKX shows here, I can also earn 10% APY with staking my USDT, and this is something we're going to come back to later. If we now head back to the main OKX screen, our newly purchased USDT is now displaying in my account. Now, alternatively, if you already have some crypto for trading, you can also deposit it and essentially send it to OKX. To send your crypto to OKX, you're first going to need your wallet address to send it to. So first, we need to head to the deposit icon, which you can reach from the center of the screen. Then find the crypto that you want to send to OKX. In this example, I'm going to show USDT again, but the same would apply for any crypto that you're depositing. You'll then be prompted to select a deposit network, and this is whatever you're sending your crypto on. Just be aware here though that some networks aren't supported by OKX, such as the Binance Smart Chain. And once selected, you'll be presented with a QR code for scanning with a mobile device or a deposit address that you can copy and paste. It will also show any minimum amounts or estimated times for the deposit to arrive. So now, you would head over to whatever you're sending this from, for example, if it's over on another exchange like Binance or Coinbase, then you simply paste this address into the to field when you choose to withdraw. Or if you're sending from a wallet like a ledger, again, you'll have to paste or scan the QR code in Ledger Live. When you have your crypto in OKX, either via buying or depositing, you can then look at starting to trade. So let's choose trade from the bottom of the app. And when we press trade at the top of the screen, you can see that you can buy, sell and convert your crypto using light mode. Or you can access more order types and trading pairs using advanced trade or pro. And we're going to be focusing on converting on this beginner's guide. We then search for the crypto that we want to trade. And it will show you today's most searched for. Alternatively, we can choose from certain categories. And you can then select these to find out more information about the category and then the categories cryptos. Then underneath there's some of the top movers. And you can also filter by favourites, hot, gainers, losers, etc. And the reason that you might be trading for these tokens as opposed to just buying them is because there are more diverse cryptos available here. But I want to show you a simple convert to get started with. In this example, I want to trade my USDT for Bitcoin. So if I choose BTC and convert, from here you'll see that I'm on the market tab. This essentially means that we're going to be buying at the current market price, and I'm going to show you the other one which is limit shortly. You then enter the amount of your crypto that you'd like to swap. I'll put in $100 of USDT now, and it will then show the amount of BTC that I'll get. When I preview, it shows a conversion preview, 
explaining again how much Bitcoin I'm going to get, what it's being converted from, and the rate. And the market rate updates every 10 seconds, and because crypto price fluctuates so much, to limit your risk, they're going to stop your conversion if you don't get at least an amount of Bitcoin that you'll show on screen. When you're happy, you can then confirm. And you can then head over to your portfolio, which you can reach using the far right tab at the bottom of your app. And it'll then show your Bitcoin in different chart formats. If we press on the icon in the top right now, it then shows me all my transactions. And here we can see the convert transaction that's completed. And it shows the amount that we've purchased, the date and the rate. Next, we'll have a look at another type of order, which is a limit order. So if we choose BTC, convert, and then select the limit tab at the top of the screen. With a limit order, you don't have to accept what the current price is currently at. You could choose to trade when the price of Bitcoin hits a certain amount, so that you can help to minimize losses or buy it when the price drops to a certain value. This time, I want to convert BTC to USDT when the price hits a certain value. So I need to press the icon with the two arrows between the from and to boxes. I then have a conversion from BTC to USDT and I need to state how much I want to convert. I'm going to convert just under $100 of BTC as that's what I've currently got. And I'm going to enter that as BTC. And that works out to be about 0 0.0026 BTC. I then need to enter the price and we can see the current price showing below, which is constantly changing. So here I could state that when the price of Bitcoin reaches $37,500, I want to convert my Bitcoin to USDT. When I preview, it then shows my conversion, the limit price that I've entered. And here it's confirming that I'll need to wait until the price of Bitcoin reaches this amount. And it also shows my fee that I'm going to be paying, which is really competitive at 0.1%. When you confirm your limit order, it will then be placed and you're going to need to wait for the market to reach that price until it completes. So this is now deemed as an open order and you can view open orders when we choose convert, select the limit tab and then choose the icon in the far right. As you can see, the order is currently stating that it's open and open orders can be cancelled if they've not yet been filled. So if you have made a mistake, or if you'd like to change the limit price, you can cancel the order and simply try again, which I'm going to do now at $37,200. And when the market has reached your price, the order will be filled and the newly swapped crypto will then appear in your balance. And you can check out that transaction by heading to your portfolio, the transaction icon in the top right, and here you're going to find your limit order and all of the details. And as I said, there is a huge range of cryptos that you can trade with OKX. Now, another thing that we can do is earn. So let's select that from the bottom of the screen. This is a way that you can earn interest on your crypto that may just be sat idle in your wallet otherwise. At the moment, you can see that we're on the Offers tab and I'm holding USDT now. Currently, we could earn 10% APY on this. And there's variable rates depending on the crypto that you're holding. These will obviously change over time too. When I press on this offer, I can see there's a couple of different earning options. One of them is the flexible rate, which we can get at 10%. And I can earn USDT daily and redeem at any time. For this offer, I can deposit up to 1000 USDT in total and earn a guaranteed 10% APY. So let's go ahead and see how we do this. When I choose next, I then enter the amount of USDT that I'd like to stake. Or I can choose to stake a percentage or all, which is what I'm going to do. Now, because my funds are currently in my trading wallet, they do need to be moved to a funding account, but they'll transfer these automatically for me. I then need to agree to the terms and conditions and choose to deposit when I'm ready. And these can be withdrawn at any time, as I said. As you can see, I'm now earning. When I check earnings, I can see the offers that I'm enrolled in. And if at any time you want to come out of earning, you can select the crypto and choose to redeem. And this is obviously only available because I'm in a flexible term where I could redeem at any time. 
If you are in a fixed term, you may need to wait for a holding period to expire. Next, we're going to take a look at how to withdraw from OKX. So if you've traded or bought your crypto and you want to store it somewhere safe, like a hardware wallet, you're going to need to withdraw it. It's not recommended that you keep your crypto on an exchange long term. It's far safer to keep your assets under your own control with access to your private keys. And in this example, I'll show you with a Ledger hardware wallet. And I've got links to various hardware wallets in the summary below. From the main screen, if you choose Withdraw, then choose the crypto that you're going to be withdrawing. You'll then be asked for a withdrawal method, which is either on-chain, which as it states is to a wallet or an exchange, or internally if you are transferring to other OKX users. I'm going to be withdrawing to a Ledger wallet as I said, so I'll select on-chain. Then copy your receive address, and then paste that into the USDT address you're sending your crypto to. Or you can obviously scan the QR code. Then you need to choose the network, making sure that it's the same as the address that you're sending to. Enter an amount, and you'll see the network fee for sending the transaction, how much you'll receive, and then you can go ahead and submit your withdrawal. I'm not going to go ahead with this for the moment, but the crypto would then withdraw to the destination that you've entered. So lastly, we're going to take a look at how to sell your crypto. So from the main screen, choose sell. Then select the crypto that you want to sell, as well as the currency you'd like to exchange it to. Enter an amount that you'd like to sell, or you can choose to sell max. When you select next, the available sell options will then display. And these will vary depending on your location, the currency, crypto and the amount. If I just choose advanced cash as an example, it then breaks that down for me in terms of the price, how much I'm going to receive, and you can choose to sell USDT and then follow the instructions provided by that seller. But that completes our tutorial of OKX for beginners. As I said, if you would like to see a tutorial for the pro version, then let me know in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you did then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to our website at everybethelps.io for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.